if public service, you have to have somebody at the DA's office that accepts service. If he is not accepting service, this is very, very serious. That the district attorney in Santa Clara County I'm gonna is not step, accepting service. I'm going to ask you to service. step back, please. I'm going to ask you to step back. Thank you. Oh, man. We got a Karen in the house. What's happening? What's happening, Karen? What's happening? Aw. This is Susan Bassey, and a year ago, I met a group of people on YouTube known as First Amendment Auditors and Cop Watchers. These people were recording in public, and specifically recording the police. They showed us the culture of law enforcement agencies and individual police officers engaged in misconduct long before the George Floyd protests erupted all over America. And these people taught us to record in public, which is a fundamentally protected right under the First Amendment. And whether you agree with speech or believe it has a legitimate purpose or not, people have a right to record in public and their public officials. We have a right to transparency and accountability of our public officials, even when those public officials serve in our local courts. And it is the duly elected district attorney in a community that determines whether or not police officers will be prosecuted, the truth will be pursued, crime victims will receive justice, and whether public corruption will be investigated when it's called to their attention. Investigate the court! Investigate the court! Over here at the DA. As mainstream media starts to focus on law enforcement agencies, we're going to continue to focus on the district attorneys because they are the leadership behind these law enforcement agencies. And if they are corrupt, so are the police departments. And when there is corruption in our courts, there's going to be injustice. And so we've looked closely at the Santa Clara County District Attorney's Office. And last week, something remarkable happened during the course of our investigation. So when you spend Father's Day, do you stay at home all day or do you go out and see other people with their children? I had the whole day to myself. It was painful. So you stayed inside because it would be too painful to I go out? I stayed inside because I just, I, you know, I, I ended up being bummed out. Um, just wanted just to, I don't know, just think of, think of the past. I posted a lot of pictures of me and the kids. Uh, that made me feel good. Just hoping that one day they'll look and they'll see reality. They remember and how much I loved them, love them still, and spark that, uh, spark that memory. So uh, your reality. relationship with your children was 100 effect, uh, percent affected by family court. Yes. The Santa Clara County District Attorney Jeff Rosen makes nearly $500,000 a year. He manages an office budget of $153 million a year, and he gets over $5 million to serve crime victims, many of whom say they never get any benefits or service from Mr. Rosen's office at all. Mr. Rosen also has a record of not prosecuting bad police officers. He's managed to control the local media and stay in office. That all might be about to change. The Santa Clara County DA's office is now walking back a public statement made last week. That's when prosecutors said they would not be charging a Palo Alto police officer accused of excessive force. Former Palo Alto Police Sergeant Wayne Benitez is one of the officers seen here pulling Gustavo Alvarez from his home. They were there investigating a potential suspended driver's license. Sergeant Benitez is seen hitting Alvarez at least once before lifting the handcuffed man's head and slamming it into a car windshield. Last week, the DA's office says there wasn't enough evidence to charge Benitez with felony assault. 
Now the DA's office says it's reconsidering the case, saying in a statement, quote, after months of requests and after we closed out our review, we received from Mr. Alvarez's attorneys access to potentially relevant evidence. But an attorney for Alvarez disputes that, saying he turned over evidence months ago. He slammed Gustavo, a handcuffed man, into the hood of the car. You know, they say justice is blind, and it's not. It just proves that it's not. You have the DA's office not going after dirty cops. Santa Clara County District Attorney Jeff Rosen has a history of not prosecuting police officers engaged in police brutality cases. Public defenders in the area have been highly critical of Mr. Rosen, as have been activists and journalists attempting to cover these issues. Mr. Kahn runs a podcast, and in that podcast, he seeks to inform the public about the workings of the criminal justice system and the failures of the prosecutors and the police who act in that system. Mr. Rosen, the Santa Clara County District Attorney and most powerful law enforcement officer in Northern California, during a global pandemic and unprecedented civil unrest over police brutality, decided to use his time to file a whistleblower complaint against Mr. Kahn's blog posts, one in particular that said be mad at the police but even madder at the DA's office that perpetuate and protect those police. That whistleblower complaint was highlighted with a shout out to me in the Washington Post. And it was shortly thereafter that Mr. Rosen withdrew his whistleblower complaint, walking it back. And after that, he had a very bad week and quickly was dubbed DA Karen. of their ethnicity, the color of their skin, or where you think someone is from, then you have attacked us all. I, I don't know. Own it, baby. Hi. Hi. Can I give this to you? Can I serve you with this? This is a letter for Jeff Rosen, and they said to hand it to you if you're county council. And what is your name? My name is Douglas Press, but we... Can I have a receipt that you have? Well, I'm not case? sure we should be the ones receiving this. Though. I went downstairs, and they confirmed that it had to go to you, county council. The clerk of the board? The, yes, downstairs at the office of the district attorney. And what did you say your name was? My name is Douglas Press, P-R-E-S-S. I'm an assistant county counsel. Oh, thank you. And can I just have a receipt Am I being filmed? Here? Yes. Okay. Um, We're I just filming receipt. the service. Yeah, I don't have a receipt on me. I'm okay, sure I can just take a piece of paper. Well, is this a lawsuit? What is this? No, it, I understand it's a letter. Okay. Let me let me check on this because I'm not sure if Or we you are... can just, you know, accompany me up to Jeff Rosen's office, that'd be fine. Uh, he's in the other wing. Okay, well let's yeah. go. Well he's the district attorney. Yes, I know. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not just going to go on a venture here with, okay. with you well, to Mr. Rosen's office. I asked Who did you speak what with? the procedure is at the front Understood. desk and the woman who did who you was... speak with? The woman who is at the front desk. Can you get me her name, please? Do you want me to go down there and get her name and come back and tell you? Yes, please. Why don't you pick up the phone and call and ask? Because I do not want to be carrying this all the way down to 70 years old. I don't want to be carrying this box back and forth. Okay. Your county council. I understand that. They said that you accept service. Right. Just, so that's, that's why not, I'm leaving this with you. That's not, I don't know why you're making exactly. this difficult. I'm sorry, I don't create the policies. I'm just trying to let you know that that's not actually how it works, and I don't know what it is you're trying to serve. So It's I'm, a letter. A letter. It's a letter. And they would not accept the letter. They said the county council accepts service or documents for the district attorney. So I'm going to be leaving that with you. Okay, well, it's not exactly accurate. 
I have all that on film too, if you'd like to watch it, of, of them, you know. Because they had to check with 15 people to decide what to do with it. Right. Let's go to the district attorney. Okay, that's okay. good. Thank you. Let's have an adventure. Oh, you're going to, oh, you got a private. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you go? Uh, right here. Want me to go? Yeah, yeah. Hi there. Hi, I'm from the county council's office. Hi. Hi, I'm a, my name is Douglas Press. I'm an assistant county council with the county council's office. Okay, this speaker's really bad. I'm sorry. Okay. Get bits and pieces. You're from the county council office. Yeah. Yes, and this gentleman and another person were trying to trying serve to... a box right. that they say is a letter, and they're saying that you advised them that to serve the letter on the district attorney, it had to go to the county council's right. office. Right. Have anything to do with our county workers? Then it goes to the county council. Well, it goes through the county council in a representational sense, but we're not the folks who receive the service. So I'm not sure why, if all they're trying to do is give you a letter, why you could not receive the letter. I can't just accept a letter for Jeff Rosen. Okay. Unless it goes through the, from what I understand, through that. Um, I'll get a duty officer down here to talk to him because... Okay, I think that would be appropriate. Yeah, okay. I think so too. Thank you. You want to have a seat? I'll get an officer down here. Thanks. Yeah, they're bringing, they're bringing someone down because, again, it's not entirely clear yeah, why asked, it is. Yeah, I asked yeah. them to. So they, they're going to bring they down a duty officer. That's what we asked originally. Okay. Thank you. Are you, are you not going to hang around, though? You're, yeah, you're would gonna, you please, because I don't want them. I mean, what if they tell us to bring it back to you? Okay. I'm She's been on the phone. I... I'm familiar with the procedure. There's somebody that comes down, accepts service, and that's it. You don't need to wait. Thanks. Oh, yes, I do. No, oh, him? Oh, yeah, no, I wanted you to wait. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It took an hour and 27 minutes to deliver a letter to the Santa Clara County District Attorney that day, not to mention all the public employees that had absolutely no idea what to do with that letter, leaving us to wonder how competent the DA is and why he would possibly be so afraid of speech and what could be in that letter. You don't know. This is the district attorney's office. So you absolutely do know who, who accepts service. Somebody here, you cannot have a district attorney's office in Santa Clara County that does not, does not have anybody to accept service. Now, I spoke with her. She sent me up here to this attorney at county council. He said he doesn't. She, he came back. He spoke with her. She called you. She's called any number of people. No, you're wasting my time. I'm, I'm, if a process server comes here and has a service for the district attorney, they serve it. I am serving this. I am leaving this with you. I want your name. What is your name again? Tuttle. I'm serving you. You've been served. Just read it to me. Dear Jeff, or should I say dear D.A. Karen, 